Hello student, in this part I will narrate to you the last scene which is very important scene in the story a season of no return. So far you have studied the three section, in the last section you have two parts, the first part the first scene in the first part narrates the incidents from afternoon to the evening and in this last part and the second scene you see the next day morning and what happens to the central character Kauri. So I am going to read it you are supposed to listen the narration carefully. Not having had a wink of sleep the previous night when Kauri was about to pick up her cup of tea the next morning her hands nearly trembled. Falling off her hand the cup broke into several pieces. Santok came rushing in, looking at his mother's face. Anxiety gripped him the moment he saw beads of perspiration on her forehead. Kauri was sitting, holding her head between her hands, almost as if her head was swimming. Stepping forward and supporting her soldiers, he said, Maji, why don't you lie down? So, in the next morning, this is that scene occurs that for last previous days, Kauri has burden in her mind and she does not express her feelings her estrangement feelings. She does not share it. Instead, she let her do whatever they want. And the burden of these whole days, all days, has outcome on her health. And that is why when next day she gets up and pick up her cup of tea, she could not hold that cup and that cup breaks into pieces. It falls and because of that falling sound, Santoki rushes towards her and he sees that uh, she is sweating. There are beads of the drops of perspiration on her forehead and he immediately advises her, you should lay down. He could feel her body was somewhat feverish. Lying down, Kauri said was, son, I am feeling uneasy. That very moment, he got her tablet and glass of water. The daughter-in-law had also come in with him. Both of them helped her to sit up and made her swallow the tablet. So, they help her to sit up and take the tablets. And she now tells them that she is not feeling easy. So, this happens in the next morning, next day morning. After about an hour and so, Kauri felt much better. Her attention was drawn towards the room of her son and daughter-in-law. Hearing Santuki speak in anxious but soft tones, she pricked her ears and with some efforts was able to hear what he was saying. In a very composed manner, he was trying to explain his wife, what is the way out now? Even I can see the problems, it's all create, but we will engage a maid. So they were talking about her health, her living hair there and how we can engage a maid again to look after her perhaps. To understand, the one maid is there to look after the house course, how works in house. But now, 
she should be also looked after because her health is deteriorating kauri's health is deteriorating now it is their responsibility but let's see what happens that is why he talks with his wife that he can engage a maid also to look after her kauri felt as though her head was swimming all over again a sudden feeling of giddiness swept over her that day santoki took leave and came back home after dropping his wife at college on his way back he brought along a doctor as well the doctor examined his mother and told him that there was absolutely nothing to worry so uh, santoki was quite careful about his mother he saw how his mother that is kauri getting ill and she needs immediate medicine and treatment that's why he brought the doctor at home who advised him that there is nothing to worry about her health so it is not the physical health or physical ailment disease that is uh, eating kauri but there was something in her mind the hollowness the emptiness disappointments and homesickness nostalgia that was uh, piercing her mind by the afternoon kauri was feeling somewhat settled she had started playing with kaka as well after about 2 hours when he returned he spoke rather softly ma ji i have got your seat booked it's on a train leaving next saturday night one of our engineers is going to punjab he will leave you right up to the village kauri was stunned when she heard it after a while she thought of something and said son it's up to you if you are finding it difficult i won't mind staying a little longer no it's all right now kakka is grown up enough we will manage somehow so you see that it was shocking for kauri that her son santok will take this decision immediately that when she finds herself in on easy on that very day he booked a ticket uh, to go back to uh, the village it <coughs> what is the reason behind this all we can strongly guess that that perhaps they don't want to look after they don't want to take the responsibility of uh, kauri and that is why they book the ticket so that she could go back to her place and until the next saturday the whole atmosphere in the house appeared somewhat sad to her though the daughter in law would now speak in a voice sweeter than before and kauri too would always respond her quite affectionately afon santok would sit with maji and crack a few jokes as well but everyone could feel that there was something strange and unfamiliar so uh, these are the these are the uh, somehow we the comments or description that comes after the reflection over what has happened in the house that it is now definite that kauri will go back to her village her books are prepared and a friend of uh, one of uh, santoki's friend who is engineer is going back to till the punjab so they everything is arranged and until then it seems that there is the strangeness and unfamiliarity among the house members that feeling of estrangement estrangement it is a marathi art strange unfamiliarity with each other anolki pana apan ji bhavna manto ti it tumhala vadis lagleli ek prakare ya unit of family je ahe jala apan vibhakt kutum manto tyat jhalel tumhala disun yete that feeling of estrangement and sadness could end only on the saturday night at 17 minutes past 2 
after seeing Mazi off his friend, when Santoki was returning home, he suddenly felt so cold that his teeth started chattering, looked up at the sky. There wasn't a trace of cloud anywhere around. Then how could it be so cold? The moment he reached home, he joined two blankets and pulled them over himself. After a long time, when warmth had seeped inside his body, he felt a sudden lightness of being. Then his thoughts raced back to his mother, but a sudden tide of sleep had already washed over him. So you see, there is even the atmosphere when she sits in a boogie to go back, and when Santoki sees her off, even the atmosphere changes. There is a sudden uh, coldness without any cloud over in the sky. So, here in the last paragraph of the last scene, you see that there is a remark that the feeling of estrangement and sadness could end only on Saturday night at 17 minutes past 2. So, uh, last two days, uh, the feeling of uh, disfamiliarity, unfamiliarity and sadness, emptiness was there. And immediately when Kauri sits to see them off to go to her place, all of a sudden that feeling goes off. So here the writer is indicating that that Kauri is no more required there. Her work is over because as Santuk even says that even the Kaka has grown up, they can look after him. So, there is a change in atmosphere and when he goes back to his flat, he pulls over him two blankets and he feels a sudden lightness of sudden lightness of his being and the story ends here. Thank you.